starting to wear out our welcome, you know? Even as grandkids. Oh, fuck. That kid never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Oh, he went next door. Oh, Lord. He's friends with that kid now. Got to put pants on. Claire? Steven? I think you Anybody need, home? You need to start calling them grandma and grandpa. Because it's weird. It sounds like you're living with other people. Well, looks like I'm home alone. They trust you. Oh, right. Sunday morning. Oh. Claire and Steven must be at church. Go out the front door. Are your neighbors okay seeing me? Oh wait, there's a note on the door. Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Okay, we're at church. Back by noon for lunch. P.S. Christmas tree is perfect. Good job, Tim. Yes. Yeah. Maybe I could. What? Use Steven's laptop. We have to erase our history. It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. We'll have to delete our history. Jeez. These articles are almost a month old. What the hell is this? I had no idea Stephen could fall for this bullshit conspiracy theories. Well, Brody, if we ever make it home, Wherever that is, <laughs> he'll be much, much welcome. Well, Ugh. this article is much less creepy than it seemed back then. Yes. Holy shit. Who are these assholes? That's some fucked up hate speech. <sighs> wow. Lila seems to be having a hard time. Never seen her this salty. Yeah, I should man. really call Lila to check on her. We should. Oh, can we? Where's the phone? We gotta log out. But no, it's fine. I'm sure we logged out. I'm sure it's fine. She's gonna trace us back to this phone. <sighs> Just Lila. a quick call can't hurt us. Yeah, I need fine. to know if Lila's okay. Yes. Lila? Hey. It's Sean. Holy shit. No way. How are you? How are you? Wow. You know, been better. I mean, you literally hung up on me. We did, and we didn't Sean, even say. <laughs> it's been weird. We didn't say goodbye. How could you cut me off like that? Lila, I'm so sorry. We're on the run. We had to hide out for a while. Plus, I ditched my phone. Never heard of pay phones? I had to lie to the police for you, for fuck's sake. They grilled me for hours after your last call. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. I don't want you to get into any more trouble because of me. I better go. No! Please, don't. Do not hang up on me. Not this time, dude. Talk to me. Please. She's How homie. are you? Yeah, I mean, we're okay. How's Daniel? We're all good, Lila. Better than we've been for ages. I swear. Okay. Now, where the hell are you? Somewhere. Oh. We're in <laughs> Oregon. Oh, 
Oregon. Let's say... We found some help. For now. Really? That's what I wanted to hear. Sean. I kept seeing all these awful things happen to you. I know. I'm sorry. Please tell me about you. About high school. Anything. Other than this fucking mess. How's the gang? Oh, don't worry about that, homegirl. Like, she didn't care about you. How's the gang? Well, the guys are fine. Adam's all about this new game. Fuck. I miss our land parties. They miss you, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Ellery's now the captain of the track team. <laughs> They're kicking ass. <laughs> Considering they lost their best runner. Sure. I'm a pro runner now. What about Lila the Love Witch? Seeing someone? <laughs> No way! I'm way too busy trying not to lose my shit over you and Daniel. I've been really worried, Sean. I'm on medication. I couldn't sleep anymore. Oh, fuck. You're gonna be okay, Layla. So are we. But you have to be strong. Both of these are lies. I'm not going to call her back. I feel like this should be a one and done conversation. And two, um, I don't think we'll see each other again. Like, I can't go back. I can't go back home. Like, that's literally ground zero. I mean, I pay phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I'll call you back. I'm surprised I remembered her number. As soon as I can. You promise? It might be a while, but I'll try. When I can. Thank you for calling, Sean. You literally saved my day. It was so cool to hear your voice, Lila. I... I gotta go look for Daniel now, but... I'm glad I called you. Oh, man. I miss you guys so much. <laughs> you better take care of yourself. We're trying. My baby boy. Give him a big hug for me. I will. You take care too, okay? Seriously. Love you, Lila. It's homie. It's homie. It's homie. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Alright, let's go get our brother. Fuck. I really miss her. Stop thinking about that. Dies. Time to go get Daniel. So grandma literally said no internet, no phone, and that's exactly what we did. Hopefully nothing bad happens by the end of this Okay. Episode. Let's get this brack back home now. I do feel like we can't stay here. Pretty secluded neighborhood. Why is their house the cool house? And like we got these trailer park no wheels. Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Could you imagine having the dog with us? Showing up with a dog. Daniel! What's going on here? Sean! Wait! Don't freak out! I can't explain. Let me tell him. Sean, I know it sounds crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things. Objects. With my mind. Oh. This kid under a Genjutsu. Superpower. Really? Yes. <laughs> well... That's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain here. Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. Oh no. 
Nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally! That's I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. I hate every part of this. What's your super name, Sean? I don't need one. <clears throat> How about... The Silver Runner? Cool? Cool, right? Hmm. Not bad. That's true. You're a great runner. Okay, guys. I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out, or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. yeah. They share a lot of things. Let's go. As thick as thieves. Let's Can we go. go get the Christmas tree now? No. We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. I think us and... No. They'll worry. Well, they'll worry if we leave the house. And remember, you still have to get better, Daniel. Sean, come on. Why do you always have to be a party pooper? It's the first time I've been out for days. We won't be gone for long. The market's only a few miles away. Anyway, they'll be at the service for at least another hour. Yeah, Sean, I can show Daniel around. You can come with us. Please say yes. Please, please, please. <sighs> okay, you win. Not a fair fight. No, I so let's go. <laughs> yes! I would've put it in yeah! Order. See? Nah, Dangerous. That. Okay, team. Uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spear's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Okay, how did I do? Not bad. You're almost right. It was a bit tricky. Okay. Let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. But they're all working for Mantroid, who's the real supervillain. So... Where is he? Hiding out on his evil planet, waiting for me. But Captain Spirit and Super Wolf will make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. <sighs> yeah, about that. Um, does your dad know about any of this? Did he see something yesterday? No, he didn't see anything, and the power didn't work yesterday. After I fell, I uh, must have been too tired. Okay, good. Um, I mean, he could be pretty disturbed if he knew. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. <laughs> well, it's none of my business. your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. Of course. Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit. 
the first and only carpenter vigilante. Oh, cool. Sorry, the water eater is still broken. Water eater. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey, pro tip, don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad, let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Okay, buddy, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Okay, I mean, at the end of the day, we have to protect the secret. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules. But I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. You shouldn't be doing nobody them at all. Nobody sees us. <sighs> yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. <sighs> That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. No, you won't. <sighs> Deal. We're gonna have to kill somebody. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? I guess. Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow! So many trees! Ugh. They look like giant cocoons. They do. How can they sell so many trees in such a small town? That dad didn't know about the- You coming, Sean? Don't w Behold. The giant condom machine. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll be around. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. Good. Tell me if you need anything. Okay? Sure. Market. I'm fine for now. Got all the supplies in my truck, so don't worry. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. Hello. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Just passing through. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? Don't worry about it. We're just passing through, so, uh, at a motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. I like his son. Funny little guy. I'm not Despite everything. Brother. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. Nah. If you need anything, just holler. Nah. Pick one. Oh, yeah, we, we only sell handmade here. local products. We got nine bucks. Just get what you want. We have nine dollars, bro. We're basically you without. We just have a house that we're crashing at. It's me, it's me. You've come to take my two.
for me We play the game with skillful ends and so I Good job, um, Charlotte Now yeah, we ain't got money, but we can do we're like nine dollars I should have gave her some money, but at the same time it's like the best Christmas wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special. Okay. Better find a gift for Daniel quick. Come take a look. Um, I'd like one of those snowmen things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. no. I'm good. Have a nice day then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. <laughs> cool. Mission accomplished. All right, let's go. We better leave now before Claire and Steven come back. Hmm. Hey. Quiet morning. Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Oh. Something for my little brother. I should have put money in that jar. You bought your brother something out here. Oh. Damn. What? Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. Now we are. Kinda. That sounds... complicated. Trauma? <sighs> yeah. It sounds like a Lots. fake country accent. <laughs> like she's really yeah, trying that. to put it on, you know what I'm saying? Way too much. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kinda hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop on trains. Hey. Gives us time to rest. Man. That sounds wicked. <sighs> you have no idea. It's free and so fucking fun. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Hmm. Sean, what are you doing? Talking we hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh. Your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well, what do you think? Hmm, I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> And what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. <laughs> Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. Sorry. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> well, he's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Oh, Mr. Studio Girl. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of the air? <laughs> oh, the pros join forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. 
Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, kids. Goodbye. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. Yeah. Doggy was so cute. I, feel like they, I miss Mushroom. I miss her too. Hey, excuse. I feel like they. I feel like they put too much like emphasis or not emphasis like creation to this girl to just be a one time. So like, I think we're gonna see them again. And also, who's yelling at me right now? Excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Oh, thank God. Too many strays. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. Our dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of pills. <laughs> That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, God. Not the He's police. gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. So now he's calling the shots? Prank him, John. Yeah, leave it alone. Better not get involved, man. This guy... doesn't look nice. You're right. Remember that guy at the gas station? They're pretty. Let's not fuck around. All right, let's go. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yes. Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. <laughs> Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. I feel like this dude's a good dad, but I feel like he's dropping the ball a lot. Hey. Oh, okay. I was say, we literally told y'all to, to be playing around back there. <laughs> Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. Don't he dumped me it. like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Who? We don't make friends. Who? <sighs> Come on, don't play me. What? That cutie you were talking to by the market. Oh, yeah. You mean the that homeless girl? girl? I'm joking. We're all homeless. Just wanted money. She just wanted some money. Don't we off. all? You're too quick! Ah! But anyway, got ya. <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. We've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily, she died two years ago. Obviously, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Oh. I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle. Especially trying to be a good dad. Having problems? Doing your best. You're. I'm not trying doing to your get best. involved, bruh. We got problems. Chris is over awesome. Here. I don't even think we're living here and for too long, you know what I'm saying? He's got a. Wonderful to imagination. Thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. <laughs> He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. When I look at you and Daniel, 
how close you two are, I realize I'm far from being up to the task. I mean, you're his dad and his brother. Chris deserves a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs too. But they're always there for us. For Chris, they seem like good people. I guess. My mom left. They're nice. They're so nice, but <sighs> yeah, they have their problems too. We gotta go. Uh, sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Say goodbye to your friend. Hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can beat Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. I feel like it's going to trip and fall. Oh, oh, fine. Oh, that, they were setting it up for like. Hello. He do was going to trip and fall, and then Hello? he had to use his powers to like get the car from under him. Missed opportunity, by the way. <laughs> Claire. Steven? Did we still beat him from church? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Sounds awesome. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. We shouldn't have went. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh. What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's mom's. Please. No. We're gonna get kicked out. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. It's booby trap. They I won't promise. know anything if it's, we make it quick. It's gotta be it's booby just, trap. I really want to know what's inside. An empty room. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me if you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. I said no. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. The least I can do is cover our tracks, I guess. God, Daniel's really running this episode. Oh, fuck. Can't find that stupid key. <sighs> Just go for it. Just go for yes. It. Just get and don't out. blow apart the whole house. We're gonna get kicked out. Oh, the music's playing. <laughs> really? Maybe we can repair it. Wow. Ding! There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? I think this is the rest of her stuff. <sighs> it's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just five more minutes. We gotta clean. We gotta fix the door or at least paint it or something oh man no it's crazy crazy why would Claire lock these up in here we're spending too much time in here is that for mom huh let me see Daniel come on
What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. Calm down. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well, a cop-out in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. She well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. Maybe she just you don't even know her, okay? Us, you know? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Sure. Yeah. You can keep it. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit. Excuse me, what are you both doing in here? Except visibly, ransacking our house while we're at church? Claire, we're sorry, but we just wanted to- No one ever told you that everything you say before a butt has no value? You know you shouldn't be in here. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen, they went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Oh. Was your problem with mom's letter? What's that mean? Actually, we did find something. Yeah, oh. we found a new hey, letter from wanna, my mom. I didn't want to She said she wants to see us. No, she didn't. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. Uh oh. <laughs> Pack your stuff, Danny. Pack your stuff. Don't blame us, it was... It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't hear that. <sighs> Listen, Sean. I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that breaking our door to sneak into the room. I tried to find you. Well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act you. like I'm the bad guy. After what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Pack it up. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Yep, pack it up. Man, I think I see why mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Ah! Huh? Ah! Steven! Ah! It was that cabinet. Oh, shit! Use your powers. Get this goddamn thing off me! Use your powers. Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Use it. We can't do anything else. Use it. That was the one condition. We try to pull it off. I mean, I guess we could call somebody for help, but like, I think you gotta use it. I think you gotta use it. Use it. Do it, Daniel! We're leaving no. tonight anyway. Do so what? What's going on? We're leaving anyway, bruh. Just use it. Oh Lord, what? What are you doing, Daniel? By the power of Christ, we lift this bookshelf. Oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? 
Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. You still gotta pack it up. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? What if he That's impossible! What are you, Daniel? Claire. He's Listen, a, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. I think Steven put himself in that situation on purpose. Just so we can just move past whatever we were doing upstairs. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. So the police? Did you call the police while we were down uh, helping? It's, it's the sheriff. Even Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Someone called us. We know they've been here. Apparently, someone made a call to your grandson's friends from this house. Sean, what are we going to do? Go hide in the garage. No. No. No way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. Sorry. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Pack it up. Daniel, wait for me while I go upstairs. This kid starts following us now. <laughs> on the road again. Man. Chris must be so mad at me. I could tell he was now. pissed when he saw I had the power. You get over it. You saved his life. He he thinks I'm a liar now. No. He's a smart kid. He's not gonna stay mad. He's alive. You guys are the spirit squad, right? I hope so. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power you can give if it you to don't me. want to. Give it to me. But I'm good with it. And I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful yeah. and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? Mexico. See, see Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But, 
She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I even got you a present. Oh, yeah. I Merry think. Christmas, Enano. For real? But it's in two weeks. Who cares? Dates are boring. Here. It's weird. It is weird. But I like it. Guess the thought that counts. All right, let's get out of here. Start walking. Early Christmas is the best. Isn't it? Hey, I got something for you two. I wanted to finish it, but we're doing it now, so. Oh, man. That's so cool. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. Okay, I think we have to talk about how more than 50% of y'all just let that cougar catch a body. Not only body, mushrooms. 66% of y'all aren't real. How do you not call your homie and be like, yo, at least tell her that we're okay, you know? 42 of y'all had a very terrible ending to this episode. <laughs> Having Chris get hit by a car. That's nutty. So, this is it? Yeah. It looks like a nettle field. And it stinks. <laughs> yeah. And your stinky feet will cover the smell. Shut up. They don't. Come on. I'll show you around. Oh, Lord. Looks like we got girls and weed. What are we gonna do with that combination? Mm -hmm.